from WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Last night at this time, we were tracking a couple showers and there were even a couple weak thunderstorms and flashes of lightning over the southern Finger Lakes region. As a cold front passed through, things quieted down during the day today, but the clouds lingered. Uh, daytime temperatures actually fell back to the 40s, and now we're left with some clearing skies overnight tonight. And it looks like a decent start to the upcoming weekend. Temperatures at this hour in the 30s for most. It's 39 in Corning, 37 in Elmira, Ridgebury at 38 degrees, 41 in Wellsboro and Tawanda coming in at 39 degrees. Bigger picture showing again some dry weather over much of the Great Lakes region. So we're seeing some clearing skies off to our west. That's why we're thinking a, a nice start to our Saturday. However, by tomorrow night, closer to midnight, so about 24 hours from now, we'll be tracking this frontal boundary that's still uh, to the north of Minneapolis. This will slide down to the south and east and eventually push through our area with some showers and some cooler temperatures and windy conditions will follow for the second half of the weekend. So in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours, again, not too much going on before that cold front arrives. You can see we're getting some clearing skies at this late hour. And tomorrow we'll be left with partly sunny conditions. Temperatures starting out in the 30s, moving up through the 40s, and eventually up to 57 for our 5-degree guarantee. Now the cold front I'm talking about will be knocking on our doorstep here a little after sunset tomorrow evening. You can see by 9 o'clock it'll be approaching uh, areas uh, to the north and west of Hornell. Closer to midnight, it'll be passing through the Elmira area, and you can see the yellow here, indicative of perhaps a couple brief downpours, and there may be even a brief transition over to a few wet snow showers as the front comes through, but it, it comes through fairly quickly. And notice by the time we get into daybreak Sunday morning, it's out of here already, off towards the south and east, and during the day Sunday, uh, we'll be looking at a mixture of sun and clouds, and there may be a spotty shower coming through, but certainly not a washout. Uh, but it will be cooler. Temperatures dropping back through the 40s. This after getting into the 50s tomorrow. But the winds could be an issue as well as we go through our St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. Some of the wind gusts could exceed 30 miles an hour. So combine that with temperatures in the 40s, it's going to feel on the chilly side. Rainfall amounts with the cold front tomorrow night. Not that all impressive. Generally less than two tenths of an inch. So 57 tomorrow, 49 for St. Patrick's Day on Sunday with a couple spotty rain showers left over. But again, we'll have to contend with the windy conditions here uh, through the day on Sunday and times over 30 miles an hour. Behind that front, we'll notice the temperature drop here in the 30s for highs as we go into early next week. And there's going to be some moisture around at the same time. So our long range computer model showing at least the potential for a light snow accumulation on grassy surfaces here uh, for Monday and Tuesday, but this is generally less than an inch. So not a big deal, but uh, again, uh, we could have the chance for uh, some snow early next week. 56 is what we forecast uh, early this morning. We topped out at 58. 34 for a low tonight with partly cloudy skies. 57 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee. We trend cooler into early next week and then a slow warming trend will follow.